Okay, we're back. So, fuselage complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime a few parts that need to be painted um, in the RLM 2, which is kind of a grayish green German color. Um, I've already got some of it primed. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm gonna prime these parts here and then I will be paint, or, uh, painting at the RLM uh, 2. I'm using just Vallejo surface primer and you know I don't know it may not be necessarily totally all the time to prime stuff but I always do As you can see, there were some little dots of blue tack there, there, there. That is all um, cement points because I don't like scraping paint off unless that's necessary. And I don't like to rely on the paint to dissolve or the uh, cement to dissolve the paint. Um, I like a nice, clean, bare plastic surface. So I take a little extra time and uh, mask it off with either masking tape like I've done here or blue tack or gray tack, whatever you want to use, sticky tack, whatever. Um, so I'll have a nice bare plastic surface. So whoops, I'll let these dry for a few minutes and then we'll paint it the RLM 2. Alright, the primers had time to dry so I'm going to use Vallejo Model Air RLM 2. Um, it's already pre-thinned, doesn't need to be pre or thinned anymore, so we can go right from the bottle. So I'm gonna put a couple of drops in the old handy dandy airbrush here. And throw some on here real quick. The main reason I'm doing this on the camera, I normally don't do painting, but just mainly just to kind of show you that you know it doesn't take a long time to do some of this stuff. So in the side, this portion here of the wing where the radiators are. inside the wheel wells, tiny gear wells, whatever you want to call them. So you get the picture. So I'm going to finish these up here, these two pieces of landing gear. The main reason I'm doing these now is because it's you know, the color I need. I can set those aside to dry. So I'm going to finish those up, mm. then I'll start installing the uh, wings onto the actual fuselage. Okay, I have all my masking tape removed, all of the parts painted that I wanted to paint. Now I can actually start putting the wing assembly onto the fuselage. Now. I want to make a note right here that the instructions have you assemble the lower and upper uh, portions of the wings, the slats, um, and then all the control surfaces, flaps and ailerons. And then 
install them onto the uh, the aircraft. However, with a wing assembly like this, I prefer to do it a little differently. And what I do is this lower half here, after I've test fit it and everything, um, I like to install this first. I install it, make sure everything's lined up, then cement it into place, and let it sit. And the reason I like to do that is because when installing these upper wing sections, they fit in position nicely. But as you can see, there's a little bit of gap, a little bit of a gap on the wing root there. Now I wouldn't have known that had I put this together first. Then I put it together. Then I've got a nasty seam I either have to fill or just live with. And on most aircraft, with some exceptions, you don't really need to fill in that seam because there's a natural seam line there. Um, so what I do is I put the bottom part on then I put the upper parts of the wing in place but because I haven't glued that in place first it gives me some room to make minute adjustments to make sure that that seam is uh, minimalized um, just a little you know just by slightly stressing the wing up a little bit I close that gap up I can cement it and I will hold it all in place and you'll still have the natural seam line without having a big gap now on this side it seems to fat, fit together naturally um, a little more flush so on that one, I won't have to mess with anything. I can just glue it in place and be done with it. But that's why I do it. So I'm going to glue the lower uh, wing portion on, let that dry up, and then I will uh, glue the upper wing portions on, and then get moving on the control surfaces and uh, all that. Okay, so we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so the wings have been installed. Flaps, ailerons, uh, aileron counterweights, or whatever they're called, um, the uh, stabilizers, the rudder, associated ultra tiny, hard to install photo edge. Um, so this is ready to prime. So I'm going to prime that and the uh, landing gear doors. I'll get those primed. And then, once I get that done, I can move on to uh, working on the uh, canopy and the windscreen and all those associated parts, as well as the propeller. And I uh, should be getting close to being done. Also, the uh, wheels have been assembled and painted, and the landing gear struts. So, I'm going to call that the end of this video update and move on to the next part so on the next video I should have this uh, primed and uh, beginning work on the prop and the uh, canopy and windscreen so I can start getting ready to uh, do the final painting so that's it for now plastic models by regular dude thanks for watching questions comments below and I will see you next time